we think about things in our heads and things are obvious. But it's not until we say them out loud that things are cleared out. In our heads, we have a multi, we have plethora of thoughts constantly. I got to do this. I should do that. I should work out more. I have to take Cindy. What am I going to have for dinner? A bunch of thoughts. And a lot of the times, my friends, because we have so many thoughts and they're overlapping constantly, it is like being in a room full of people where everybody's having a different conversation and you're trying to listen. And so you're listening to two, three seconds on this, two, three seconds on that. So it sounds familiar, but you don't really think about it in depthly. And the reason why I want to talk about communication and verbalizing things are there have been many times in my life where I'm searching for an answer only to realize that I already had it. But because I was in that crowded room and all the words are overlapping, the conversations are overlapping, I can't actually hear it. So it wasn't until I started speaking out loud that things started to make sense. Now, at first glance, it can sound weird. It can be like, oh, Daniel's just sitting by himself talking out loud like this. But in reality, folks, I, uh, I personal example, I turned to questions. I started writing down questions, and, and this way I would answer out loud so I could hear my own voice. One trick that they tell you in university and school is, hey, whenever you're writing an essay, especially when you're getting tired after two, three hours, when you think you're done, read it out loud. Because we have tendencies when we're reading something in our heads, we can skip over things. But the majority of the time, nine out of ten times, for my case anyways, when I'm reading something out loud, I can catch things a lot easier. Whether there be grammatical mistakes, uh, sentence transitions, things just not flowing properly. I would highly recommend this, my friends, to use that sort of a mindset of verbalizing your thoughts with, with your feelings. So let's say you're going through something stressful, you're frustrated, you know, just really like almost counsel yourself. Think, why am I frustrated? And then give yourself an answer. Well, I'm frustrated because, you know, she's told me she wasn't going to do this again, but she did it again. You know, well, what can I do about it? What I can do about it is da 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 So really, my friends, I think, you know, a big point of counseling, a big part of um, therapy, of seeing a psychologist is not only, you know, having a person giving you these guiding questions and leading you through a conversation, but it's you hearing your own voice. Right? For example, someone asks you, hey, what are the three most important things in your life right now? Go. And off the top of your head, you might go uh, family, money, and happiness. Right? Whatever. First thing that came to mind. Then someone says, okay, now I want you to justify each one. Family. Go. Go. Now, what happens is, even though it might be clear to you in your head, you go, yeah, obviously family, obviously health, obviously happiness, it's going to take you a couple moments to, to actually articulate why you justify putting family where. And the biggest reason behind that, folks, is subconsciously we're aware. We know what's what. But it takes conscious effort to think deeply about certain matters and really get in depth past the surface level of, okay, why did I say family first? Why is that at the top of the list? Why is family more important than happiness? In theory, right? Whatever your list is but there's been many occasions my friends where even i'm going out with friends and we're talking and this is there's something on this individual's mind and he's frustrated and just getting him to talk out loud letting him hear his own voice has in my own experiences it's it's made an improvement it's made them better i know at first glance it comes off as well daniel like what's the difference whatever you say in your head you're just repeating out here but there's my friends you have to do it you have to do it until you notice it. Because when you say things out loud, it is actually possible to say things out loud and not realize something until the words leave your mouth. There's been more than one time where I'm sitting in front of the camera, I'm talking, and I literally say a sentence, and in my head I'm like, oh, that was pretty smooth. And then like, I, but I didn't think of it until I said it. And as soon as it comes out of my mouth, I'm like, okay, let's build off of that. You know, what can I say to, um, to transition off of that? So really, folks... You know, I don't want you to, to think, oh, well, this is, Daniel wants me to just go sit outside and start talking to myself like a lunatic. I'm not not exactly, but, but whether you want to look to journaling or, or just talking to a friend when you're thinking about counseling, when you're thinking about, you know, how to make someone feel heard and, you know, the real power of, of giving someone an answer, you know, without forcing an answer down their throat is just having them talk, just having them talk, listen to their own voice. And a lot of the times they have their own answers. Now, one thing that you're going to notice with these podcasts or whether you're watching these two videos is I'm going to start getting repetitive. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people might listen to this and go, Daniel, what the hell? You're always saying the same thing. But I think that's a good thing. I think to an extent it's a good thing because that means that, you know, if I show up here one day and I say, hey, verbalizing communication is great. I show up the next day, I say the opposite and I keep contradicting myself. That can be tough. Now, I know obviously time changes people. I'm going to learn new things, read new books. Uh, attend different seminars and maybe my mindset will change but until then my friends if you guys do hear the same things in a sense that is a good way 
Now, about uh, verbalizing, about saying things out loud. Has there ever been a moment where you're saying something out loud for the first time, even though you've thought about it, and as you're saying it, you're going, oh, huh, I guess, I guess that, that does so. All right, like, like you realize it as you say it. Like that is when, for whatever reason, the, the door just clicks for you and it opens up. I'm curious to know, as always, folks, DM, uh, email, text me, let me know.